at tops, nor the reporter's fair from giving us, giving me the information that every every advertiser is supposed to have. And if you read this, that's the only department where that kind of documentation is not available and put into the database. Now, the contracts. The contracts. And I could go on and on of how much flack that we've taken, that ads have gone in that are beyond the contract, refunds haven't been made, we made a refund of $210 that was over a year old, okay? There is so much more. Where do these contracts go? I have no idea. All I know is, and that's why I want everybody here, including Greg, including Myron, who's not involved anymore. Okay, I didn't. I went to his house. I told you that before. I got him on the phone actually over the weekend, and my guess is, <coughs> just like Mary Patrick, you're not going to see him here anymore. All right. Let me let me understand the mechanics. I've seen these little. It's, it's a single page. Right. The, the advertiser checks the sort of ad he wants. Right. And the numbers come out, you, you get a, a, an amount. Right. Um, where does that piece of paper go? Uh, Ruth keeps that right. So we have this data. We do. Should be, well, there should be thousands of them. Well, it should be. Over but, the years, right? Yes. Where but I can tell you this, when you say Ruth keeps them, Joyce keeps hers. Okay. And when he was here, Phil kept his. So it's in three different places, but the most important part about it is it's not just for me. You have people who are upset that ads are going in that they didn't ask for, prices that they didn't agree to. Now I think I told you all I sent out, it was almost a hundred confirmations. A lot of them came back, some were pretty nasty, others weren't. We have a law firm that had two ads that they didn't want. Uh, we have a situation I want to get in, where someone pays for a full page ad and gets three quarters of a page. That's not right. We have a situation where someone was paying $65 for an eighth and got a half a page for months. No one is checking it. It used to be Myron's job, wasn't it? Yeah. Myron would get it. I, the first one that I got, which was November, I was successful. I went up to Myron. I said, Myron, can you review this? He did the same thing. He went through the paper. But I got to tell you, after Myron went through it, we went through it, and we picked up seven ads that were in the paper that were not on the manifest. And that's on just one manifest. Now, we're not supposed to be putting ads into the press until we get paid. I'm going to tell you, that's not happening. We got thousands of dollars of receivables. You have some deals are special. We have a system that I don't think is good. Uh, Dr. Wolf, who is a dentist who puts in an ad all the time. I called him up and he said, I said, Doc, oh, he got one of these things. He said, Doc, I paid for this. I said, Doctor, you paid for it. I don't want to take your money. Can you tell me how? He said, Well, they always used to charge my uh, account. I said, go, go look at your account and see if it's been charged. It wasn't charged. They gave us a credit card for something. Which was not charged. Yeah, that's not a good idea, I got to tell you because we wind up putting ads in because we got a credit card without uh, approval. Now the account, the law firm, is a small law firm that uh, is here in town. I'm being kid, a small law firm. It's embarrassing to call up and ask for money 
okay, when the ad is not supposed to go in. The most embarrassing thing just happened the other day. One of our advertisers who had paid was called, not by me, not by anybody here, first call I heard about and said, pay your bill, you're behind. And it was paid. Uh, okay. I think everybody should read this. I don't, I don't want to point fingers and I don't want to beat I'm, up I'm not, uh, that's I, why I, I think I they should be. One person is, is operating the paper and it's not enough. We used, to have, we used to have four or five people oh, in there. Right. Used, used to have, to have like Eight. More, yeah. We need to get some volunteers. I don't know what else to say. Well, we need to get people in there. Is Myron ever coming back? Is Phil coming back? I can, I can only tell you from what it sounded like, he's not he's coming on. Now, I can tell you, you had mentioned who is going to put it into the system. You know, I just got a scanner. If I had gotten what I'm supposed to get, which is in their contract, I have someone who put in every document into the system. That's what we need. We need the stuff to be scanned in. Well, it's not a problem. Give it to me. I'll scan it. In. I, I, it, it should, well, first of all, I'll give it to anybody, but it should come to me to make sure that they're being billed. Now, you have prepared a schedule of what things should be charged. I went to the uh, local newspaper that gets hanged on the door, The Advocate. They have a very nice schedule. Just a rate sheet. Rate sheet. Rate sheet. Yeah. And I don't think you or you or you would like to know that I'm getting a full page for $125 less than you are. Yeah, but I would have to say, gee, if you're calling the Palm Beach Post with 3 million subscribers, how are you going to compare that to our paper with 7,000 subscribers? Well, you don't have 7,000. I'm just saying. The answer is, but that's what you made up. If you don't want to keep it, then don't keep it. But how do you, how do you come up with a reasonable rate to charge, given our circulation? There must be a rule. There is a rule. There is a rule. It's based on circulation. Okay. Okay. Now, if we take what the advocate gets, and you know the advocate circulation is a lot bigger than ours, yeah. and delivered better. Yeah. Door, to door. door to door. And they only have two people. Him and his, uh, his son do everything, the bookkeeping, the whole business. Yeah, but that, that I, I know what you're talking about. I mean, that's the kind of publication that used to come off a mimeograph machine. It, well, they do the regular printing. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. It's not like our paper. Well, no, it's not like a... But a paper is a paper is a paper. Okay. okay. We're not giving it away. How about ads that are in the paper that are not being charged for? Yeah, that's inexcusable. And I'm not pointing to anyone. Is this, is this an ad given on spec? Or are they just not being charged, period? I, I can't answer the question, but it's in there. And it's been in there for a couple of months. And we, look, well, it goes on and on. The simplest thing to do is, first of all, we should advise them. They're getting 2000 bucks a month to do the job. Two thousand. Yes, you get nine seventy five for Joyce. Oh, okay. okay. And you get a thousand for Greg. Now, for those of you who are not familiar, look at that paper. Seventy five percent of those ads are repeats. Fixed. Okay. The offices go in one place. The ads go in another place. It doesn't. I don't say anybody could do it. But it doesn't take a rocket science to put the paper together that 92% of the time it's the same. It is the same. But if they're doing the job, I think the, the biggest fallacy is, if you read this, oh, and, and someone who was a volunteer called up 
to uh, get an address because we don't have addresses. I just got a return for not having an address. We don't have this. I was told, you are not supposed to call. Yes. I'm talking, talking about calling them? No, calling you because you're behind on your head. Oh. Why are, well, okay. I don't so, understand that. Uh, who's, I, who's I, the I, one, that, think, said, I don't who's think the one that said you're not supposed to call? What? Who said you're not supposed to call? That was Joyce. Okay, then, because uh, she's the one that's supposed to be doing that. Well, well okay. that's correct. Somebody told her to say that. Well, that's why I think we should put it on the table. It, it used to be, from what I understand, Phil's job to call. And Phil call. is no longer here. Right, I'm saying and that Phil was Phil's job to only Phil, or, Phil or, or Myron's job to call the people that were running. I've talked by. to Phil All right. and even before he left. Phil only called aides that came across his desk because he didn't know what someone else was booking. What was that lady's name that passed? And Phil is not here. Bring, I can't remember. Uh, the reason I think we should have a meeting is to put it on the table. Yeah. All right. And by the way, Here, here's my issue with that. Yeah. You got one person in there now. Well, you put enough pressure on that old lady, she's going to walk I'm out of here. I'm not telling you to put anybody. I'm just saying, you know. David, she, put, she put, needs help. I'm not exactly. She needs okay. help. We need people in there. We need at least four more people in there. Well, you have two right now, and it's no fun. Two is not enough for that. Wait, people. it's no. Listen, when you have most of the information in the computer, when you have Bob Rivera who puts the same ad in every single month, and you have Bob Rivera's address and you have what Bob Rivera pays, and you have a contract that says he's taking that in. You press one button, and the invoice comes out. Now, we're in the process right now, because there were two programs, which that made no sense, of taking every single piece of information that we do have, putting it into the database in the current uh, QuickBooks that we have. Okay. And, and generate the invoice if someone would give us a piece of paper. Right. Why can't that happen? Go ahead. All right. We're, um, we're coming into a year of a pandemic. Um, the committee system that, we, that, that runs this place has pretty much disintegrated. We've, we've gone down to a skeletal staff. Um, and the, the hardest hit would be the Ugo reporter. Right? People just didn't want to come in. They didn't feel safe. Same happened in, in, in investigations. The, um, the, the, the priority for the past year was to get the service out. Right? Get those, get those screening reports into the hands of the clients. I was doing home deliveries for three months. Right? Get that paper out. Right? One way or the other, that paper. That's an essential community service. And that was the priority over the last year. We've done it with nobody. This is it, is what we got. And, and it shows Plus, in a certain way. Of course it shows it. But, you're and, and, and I'm, but you're, you're and, going around in a circle. And, and actually I'm not. And I've and I, and and, 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 and and waited circle. for my turn. Yeah. And ahead. now it's my turn to talk. Go ahead. Right? I've recognized by the chair. Right? Uh, I think that over the next months, we'll start to see uh, our volunteers come back. We'll get new volunteers and we'll start to reconstruct all of the volunteer committees and, and organizations that make this place function. And getting the money right is absolutely important. And the way you do that is by bringing in new people and bringing in the old people that feel comfortable to come in, organize them, and get them doing their jobs again. But that's not gonna happen today. And it's not gonna happen with a meeting or an inquest or anything like that. It's gonna happen with this pandemic hearing itself out and people feel comfortable enough to get involved. It's going to happen, but we're just going to have to be a little bit impatient about it. And are it some of the people who used to be there willing to come back? Jody, uh, what was the name of the lady? I don't remember. That the little was, lady. Uh, we, need, we need to have are some. They, are they willing to? I, I personally 
don't feel comfortable asking. I think it's a put upon, right? Okay. To, to tell somebody you're needed here, I, 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 everybody has to make their personal decision where they want to take the risk to get in here and work, right? And for us to say you're needed here, that's going to influence that decision. And that's the last thing I think we should be doing here. Um, we're, we're getting along. The, the services that we're, that we're providing, that will continue. Including getting industry. along in a marginal manner. Exactly right. Um, we'll get there. Let me ask another bottom line. Are we losing money anywhere? You're only losing money by not getting what you suppose. By not charging, not getting the... Giving away the store. Yeah. Now, I hear what you're saying, but I'm saying we have a simple solution to start with. We have enough people from the financial side, not the editorial side, just give us the document and we're doing the work. You know, it seems reasonable to me that those rate sheets should be copied to the treasurer. I don't see why that's a problem. They should be on our database. Exactly. And that, that, that goes back to Miss Vespa, it goes back to Joy. Joy did not want those, they, she kept the separate records and she just wouldn't provide them. We All asked, right. we asked years ago. All right. I think that's a, I think that's a good. If you want to start someplace, that's the way to start. The I'm willing to scan in. David's willing to scan in. I do it all day long. Um, I don't feel comfortable asking Ruth to take on another task. No, but she's the source of the data. We've got to have the data to scan right. them in. Right. And it's right. It should be in the database where anybody can find it. It should be finance accounts receivable. Right. Uh, but but those original Project. rate sheets, you can reconstruct everything, right? Yeah, absolutely. Well, I, I think they should be taking a look at it because everything that's on our rate sheet mm -hmm. is being put into the computer. So if you want the QuickBooks from the QuickBooks, well, that's generating the invoices. Okay, that's fine. So what I'm saying is if you order an eighth of a page, you want to get the David Israel, an eighth of a page, boom. It's in. Oh, I gotcha. So, and it's no easy task to enter all this stuff. So, if you want to look at what you've agreed to, and if you want to have some examples of what the differentials are, because, all right, I put in an ad every single month. You put in once in, in, in a lifetime. You're entitled to a break, even though it, it, it's not. You're supposed to have an address. You wouldn't think. This is such basic stuff. Yeah, but if you load too much work on one person. You're not loading it, David. Just give us the document. Yeah, well, I think over time we'll start to get people. People want to help. They just have to feel comfortable. All right. Uh, Dom. Are we spending more money on producing the paper than we have to? We find out front, we used to lose the stack of papers that we had every every month. Now they're, they're retaining the, the pile. So people people are either not knowledgeable about the, uh, the the contents of the paper, nor do they care because they're renters and so forth. We're, we're appealing to fewer and fewer people now than wow. we did five years ago. I, I, well, uh, every newspaper in the United States is losing circulation. Sure. That's it. All right, we have the circulation, but we don't have the eyes that take advantage of that. No, the best circulation would be do what the advocate does. Put it on the door. Put it on every door. I, look, I, I can speak to that to some extent. Um, we do adjust our print run month to month, and we just kind of take a guess what we think will go. Um, I can tell you that this month, we have about 30 copies left over not including what's sitting out here. I don't think staring at this particular pile is a good is a good determinant because this is a restricted area. Nobody's allowed in here. But so so of course it's gonna sit there. Nobody I'm gonna interrupt you on that. Since there that's the dip rag over to the to the uh okay, hold on, hold on. One at a time. Go ahead, Tom. The, the papers that were here mm -hmm. were also requested by replacement at the clubhouse. Yeah. Now with the clubhouse out of the equation you don't need as many papers. Should we, in fact, be piling the papers up here, or should they be in a standard newspaper dispenser in front of the building? 
That's a tough one. Uh, we looked into this. Uh, it's I have I have the uh, I have the companies. They're good to go. Uh, Joy didn't like that idea. I thought I thought the way to go is to put these. Uh, they call them honor boxes, right? Because we're not they're not charging anything. They're, they're waterproof. They last forever. Right. Put them in public areas, like outside the clubhouse, outside the real estate office, outside the youth right. uh, It Could it be done? Yeah, absolutely. I don't know. I, I wish. What are you going to save? You're going to save. Your, your your delivery charge. Well, we're paying Glow Glow Cleaning Plus to. Uh, I recall a terrible experience years back, where the people from I don't know Pause for Life or whatever were scarfing up our papers to put in the bottom of cages. Yeah, boy, that was something. Bomb. Hey, one of the you're talking about if, if it's if it's costing more, you know, if you're gonna if you want to save money. The last thing you want to do is put them on the doors because you're going to have to pay someone to do that. It's $800. That's what it will cost. Yeah. And then you're paying $450 now. Exactly right. How much is that? About $400. Yeah. You're paying $450. Yeah. 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 You're paying $450. Uh, the, 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 the advocate has a couple of century villagers that actually know. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, no. the, but one of the differences, and I can't say it for sure because I did speak to the advocate. They use a different printer, and the printer delivers the newspapers in the plastic bags. But but look at those sheets. Right. They literally look like something put out by a high school uh, a, a guy with a mimeograph machine. Yeah, better. but people still read it. You know. Yeah, of course you, you can take read that it. in the but The Palm Beach and, 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 and the scent will come the same way. No, not in sheets like that. No, that's a, I get the Palm Beach Post. Just, just it comes in a plastic bag. No, 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 they have, five. they have the almost the exact same ads, and the reason I know that is because we used to call them and get the ads to put them in our paper. Oh, just to right. give you guys right. we're sort of going around in this circle. Like Look, the, short the, of recruiting and getting some people in here, what other action should we take? Well, because I don't, you know, I love her, but she's 88 years old, and this is a big job for her, yep. essentially alone. I wouldn't think a minute, I would not dare ask her to scan these rate sheets in. Okay. We're not. It's just too much. Someone else, and I'm willing to do it. I'll take a piece. David is willing to do it, you know. It's, it's not a hard job, but... Not to dump on her. We need people. We need to get some people in here. Yeah. Well, right now, uh, a lot of people have been vaccinated. Not enough. There's, there's still this open window, 55 to 65. There may be something coming on that. But uh, we need to get people in here. The the, the the scanning should be done after the billing is done you don't want to go into the into yeah. the database to pull out something exactly. once once you produce the invoice you put it right into the database well to me putting the rate sheet in i don't care when you put it in that database to me is a, the ultimate in case you have an audit you, you have the basic record right that's the basic record from whence everything flows uh, but somebody has to do it it's easy to say yep. but someone has to do it I have I mean Bob handed me a pack like this and my piece of this puzzle is to take the email addresses and enter them into MailChimp you know how long that takes I mean, what I guess. to put them in one at a time and half the time you're already in there but you got to check them right it takes dozens and dozens of hours. And Bob gave me a pack. It must be 40, 50 deep. And if I, if I could get that done in half a year, I'd be amazed. It, it's we, need, we need more people. It's, it's donkey work. It's classical donkey work. You need a patient individual. One, two, three. Who will do that kind of work? We need the corresponding secretary that, that's supposed to be doing it. And, and how do we get? And David, how do we? She's absent. Yeah, well, David. The yeah. average number of ads runs between thirty 
and 40 ads per issue. Depends. You got more ads when you had the uh, election. You know, you had a bunch of candidates, okay? Which none of the information was there. So what I'm saying is, I have a volunteer who's done it before. Barbara Corner said she'll come in and put it in. You know, I, you know, I asked Barbara to do exactly this kind of work. To, to sit at the admin desk. I don't understand her response. To this very day, I don't understand I don't her response. She, she said to me, I already have a husband. I don't need a second husband. What the hell does that mean? I don't know. Maybe she does. Uh, you know? David, I can't answer for her and your, re your relationship. Experience, yes. Okay. Sure. All I know is she didn't come in for a while because she didn't want to come in because of the virus. Understood. Now she has both shots. Me too. And she does come back in and she makes the deposits, comes in, counts it, makes the deposits. And she's more than willing to put it into the database. And if no one yells at her, because she got very upset, I'll show you the email. She's more than willing to call Joe Smith and say he is 60 days behind. Now, you get more people, you don't have to use this. But right now, today, just getting the contracts is a start. I mean, Wait a minute, who, who yelled at Barbara? What? Who yelled at Barbara? Was Bob? Who yelled at Barbara? No, just said something. Josh. Yes. Now, why is it going to be me? <laughs> why is it going to be The only person I yell at is you. You said she doesn't get yelled at. Who yelled at her? Yeah, okay, so there's, there's back Bob channel, channel, there's back channel communications. Listen, it doesn't like, matter at this point. What matters is if she's a, if she's willing to do it and someone else isn't doing it, what's the big deal? I, I have no problem with that. Yeah. The only work. thing is you have to explain to the person who yelled it and said you can't do it. Was it Ruth that yelled at Barbara? No. Who was it then? Joyce. Okay, we can handle that. That's not even a person be, here. I'll tell you what happened. She called what, up for an address to Joyce. And Joyce said, why are you calling? Oh, a telephone number, because we didn't have all the phone numbers. Joyce said, you can't do that. That's my job. You're off the hook, Bob. Jesus. Thank you. All right. Trouble in paradise. Yeah. David. I'm not a here. It seems to me this is all extremely interesting information <laughs> but it seems to me that we have to come up with a target date and start moving forward instead of start instead of I looking like backwards you. well okay you know I, I, I would suggest to you what's going to happen if you leave in there alone I'm not, I'm not, I'm it's, it's going to be a classical case of the light that sailed no, I, I'm not. There's going to be a complete breakdown there, and you've got no one else in there. I'm not talking to get about the me. paper out. I'm not talking about the ed editor oh. job of it. So whatever these what real, the whatever these right. financial problems are, that we just can't keep looking backwards. We have to set some type of a date and start moving forward from that. But, but he has a right to the data. Mm -hmm. sure There's no magic. He shouldn't have to pick the paper up every month. And, I agree. And cut the edge out. I, <laughs> you know, give me I a agree. break. I agree. <laughs> you know, I, I did payables and receivables for twenty some years, so I, I understand what that's going on. But you know, you have, you just can't all of a sudden let's, let's talk about it. I say, okay, let, let's set some type of a date. This is our target date, and we're going to start right. doing this at this time. Well, I think everyone should put on their recruiter hat. If you know someone who would like to come in and be trained and work on the paper, mm -hmm. um, see if you can encourage that to happen. Absolutely. I've probably gotten more volunteers here than, except for Donald. Yeah. I, I think one, one way to get some thing. people here is, is to get all Hold on. One at a time, please. One way to, one way to get pe people in here is to take away the restriction of, of having to be an owner. You can have people that are renters who want to volunteer? Well, that, that's a conversation for another time, in my right. opinion. 
there's some things I agree with they should be able to do and some things I don't think they should be able to do. Uh, as far as you know, personal information and stuff, no. I, I would Seems like, like we might have do. something from Rod on. We do. Right. Um, all right, so as we reconstruct the Yugo Reporter, uh, let's just go to the finance side, right? As we do that, policy should be put in place that these people are trained to interact with the treasurer. Right. He needs to know how exactly. much and where the money's going. That's just that's just well, obvious. The, I agree you, with you. Won't get any, you won't get any out of here. I hear you. Uh, and you jump in some. I started to say I agree with David that you do need in any project a target. Here's a simple target. A new paper's coming out. I don't feel like cutting up a new paper. I just need the documents. Of course. My scissor is getting dull. All right. uh, I would <laughs> think a word from to, to Ruth is, is in order. I don't understand this. There's no osmosis going on here. That doesn't make a lot of sense. She must have these sheets piled up by the literally hundreds someplace. Where are they going? Well, I, I, I'm going to interject here, David. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I've heard here, maybe not recently, but recently and for a long time, that only certain people from the UCO reporter were actually allowed to get in contact with OPS. Yes. And, 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 and maybe this is what happened with Barbara. Maybe this Joyce, who I've never met, maybe, I, I, maybe, maybe she was instructed yeah, and she, she still following was. directives that I'm just like me calling Seacrest for my association. I'm not allowed to, to do that. You know, I have to go through the channel. And maybe that. Maybe that's what happened. Well, I can show, tell you this. I got. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying. Ed, I'm not saying about the discourtesy that might have happened. I'm just saying that might have been the reason that that, okay. that happened. I will show you the email where I sent one, not to Joyce because she's an employee. Right. I sent it to Greg. That I'm not getting this, and he said, "Our contact." Is Donald Foster? Okay. Ask him and ask Ruth. I get no response from Ruth. I don't want to get into an argument with a. Well, this, this, this the is the my bottom point. line is. This is my point. I brought this up saying I know that's probably what happened. Been told to say that. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. It's obvious. You see it. You exactly. see right through it. Sure. Okay. I'm sorry to answer. No, that's okay. <laughs> if you feel like cutting up newspapers, I'll be more than way to tell We need that data. We need the data to be accessible. No, right. yeah, you can't just not give data. Right. And this is money. It's a unit owner money. What would happen if an auditor picked up on this? Is that the right? It would be embarrassing. Yeah. yeah. It would be embarrassing. Well, well I can say that one time when, when I was working at the New York Country Club, we had a cash box and we had a, a part-time worker take the, take all the cash out and uh, doing the audit with the accountant every month, I open up the cash box, there was nothing here, and he said, David, we have nothing to audit. I just want to bring one option up, to, just for consideration. Um, what if we can't put together a, 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 a new staff? Um, it could happen, right? Then we have to make some hard decisions. One of the plan B's that I always had in mind is, why does a newspaper have to be this many people? Why I can't hear you. Sorry. What, what if we just didn't have advertising? What if we cut the paper to the bare bones for what we need to get out to the community? You go business and community concerns. 100% on just, just unrecovered expense. Which is what we always did until we started taking advertising. Um, one of the ways you had to stop having arguments about advertising, not to have any. But you'd have to cut you'd have to cut that newspaper down to it would have to look like the It wouldn't be a newspaper. Look, you could have newspapers without it. The problem with your app, I'm sorry, is that once you give up your advertisers and decide that you want to go back, you think it's that I, easy. Well you don't you never get them back. 
Okay, so right. why make that decision? I mean, I mean the, the bylaws don't say that it has to be the format that it is. It, it doesn't say it any. could be a newsletter. It could be a listen. It could be a digital only product, which is, oh. way, is the way newspapers are going to begin with. Well, but, I, don't, I don't want to see that. I, I, I think I it, it, I love it. I think, I, I think, I think that's going to the extreme. I think you have a paper. It does have advertisers. I had people tell me I've been advertising in the paper for 15 years. The same guy told me if you raise me $5, I'm not going to go with you anymore. Okay. Uh, you're then going to say, should I lose him or whatever. We're not at that point. We're at a simple point right. to get the documents and get it out. Yeah, this should be easy. It That's really should. Sure. Yeah, yeah, they're being it. stuffed in a drawer somewhere. They got to be discovered and they got to be made available. Go ahead, Paul. If you take away the advertising, mm -hmm. then you're going to have people inundating that poor person on the desk. Make, I need to find a contractor for this. I need to find a contractor for that. And it's happened before, so we used to have that. You used to have a book there yep. with I, approved contractors. Yep. Yeah, I do that book with them. Okay. And the only way to stop that is to keep keep your advertisers. If, if somebody wants and that wants to have a contract for something, let them look in the paper. I think one of the joys, one of the things I always liked about the paper is that the costs are long term approximately covered. Yeah, it yeah. doesn't cost us money, and it does bring in money. Yeah. But. Let me tell you, you can't just cut it off anyway because there are people who have contracts for eight more months. You got. I have no desire to do that. I and, think and, and you have some very, very loyal customers. Yes, exactly. I've been with you 12 years. I've been 15. A lot of people built up their business mm -hmm. and their livelihood on this village. All right. All right. I, I think that newspaper adds to the character of this village. I think part of our community and, and I'm proud that we put that out right look nobody does this I will talk to Ruth I will tell you right off the bat uh, I'm sure you know this one of the problems here is personal animosity of course there's no doubt in my mind so I will try to cajole Ruth and one way or another we will discover these rate sheets God knows I mean I'm, I'm sure she's not throwing them out Right? They're, they're stashed away someplace. Stashed away someplace. So it has to be discovered and not only retro but on a timely basis. All right? It right. could come in, since we're not charging everybody at the door, right. it could come in even somewhat after the paper is put together. I got you. Okay? Because once it's in, it's easier to go, I got an ad for this, I got an ad for that. Now, the, but the other problem is, if Joyce says it's her job as the last stop, we should not have situations where five, seven ads have gone through into the paper. Without payment. Without payment. Without even being on the rate sheet. It's not good. One of these people with favored nation status, what is that about? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, this is very interesting and it will have to be resolved and slowly, slowly, slowly she turned. What else you got? The only thing that I would get is I think once you have this resolved, it will not be hard to get additional advertisers. I know that for a fact because we have a product. And it's been around a long time. What we don't have, when you say volunteers, you don't have to have a volunteer. People want to make money. And I can tell you, this is from experience, all the ads that were in the paper that I own were solicited by independents who got a piece of the action. And not only that, they knew that if they didn't get paid, it wasn't paid, they didn't get paid. You know, it's interesting because until this virus thing came up, uh, a little group of us used to go out for dinner on Saturday night. 
Years back, I used to take a copy of the reporter with me. And I'd find the manager, uh, Zuccarelli is your name. No, but I mean, thousands of eyes on this in Century Village every month. Would you be interested in doing an ad? Just call the number. It's not hard. It's not hard to get ads that way. Um, the issue would be, and we discussed this years ago, where our volunteers, a few of them, would go out to all the mom and pops around here necessarily the big box stores who already have contracts into infinity and try to get ads. God, it can't be that hard to do. It's not. And I think if you put the word out, there is no end of people who live in this village with sales experience who would be willing to make a little pocket money and get out there and sell ads. I think well, you would have nothing but ads. That's the other side. This, well, was, this was another dream we had, if you remember to put up those little flyers in the buses. That never, that never came that to fruition. fruition. I think if you guys put that out, it, it, there's, there's no, nothing but salespeople in this you, place. You no, they'll, sell the, they'll sell the crap. Uh, you game. have people here who would be more than willing to go out and solicit and make some extra money. I think you're right. You're definitely right. I, I, I think we've spent enough time on this. On this. <laughs> you okay. had enough. Yeah. Enough. yeah. Yeah. You got anything else? No, except everybody should be well. All right. Well, best. And uh, did we get to you, Bob? No, not yet. No, I think we should get to you now. And now, now it involves the paper again. Oh, should, we, should we have a break okay. and go get a cup of tea? No. All right. No, e. this is, this is going to be very quick. All right. Uh, as far as the, uh, the officer, by the way, this has, that needs a seal on it. And uh, I'd like to get some email address if possible. All right. uh, Three the or five. Officer, the officer dealt with it. says 305. No, he needs email. He wants the email. Address. Seal. And, and Not everybody's yeah. willing to give up there. That's fine. But no, that's fine. But I, you also need a seal on that. Yeah. Right. So the officer delegate uh, and contact report, or certain contact report. I am going to be issuing a list and, and publishing it in the paper. Anybody that has not updated within two years, within the last two years. I, I got people that, that All right. 2015, 2010 have not updated. The people have died and they're not updating. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so a paragraph uh, with it. I uh, you know I'm you're giving up your voting rights. You're not represented at delegate assembly, but and, and, and don't hold them up to ridicule. That's no, I'm not. I'm not trying to hold them up to ridicule. I'm just trying to. Do, I'm trying to get our paperwork in here all up to date. No, I understand. Right? Uh, That's fine. We. I, I've had situations where somebody just submitted uh, the, the their new paperwork, and I called their president up because there was something that needed to be corrected. I've actually been calling these people up and, and letting them know, hey, this needs to be corrected. Do you want me to correct it on, on the, over the phone? And I will do it over the phone, yeah. right? And I take it to Dave after I initial it. I take it to Dave and he initials it. He's very nice on right. the phone. It's a very nice um, phone manner, I must say. Are you uh, saying that surprising? I've been... Well, because it's his in-person manner sometimes. Oh, yeah. shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look. Um, I'm, I'm trying to, to get all these papers, all these paperwork up to date, and, and so that if, if we have an emergency, you know, we have a certain contact, all right. If if the, these people are putting down a certain contact, I'm automatically putting their president down as a contact. That's automatic to me, all right. Uh, whether the president wants it or not, he's going to get called, all right. Uh, if we have a hurricane. What if he's in the eye of the lung? What? What if he's in the eye of the lung? Does he still get the call? He's still going to get the All call. Right. You know, somebody can hold the phone to his ear. All right. Uh, we're, 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 I, I want to get I want to get this stuff up to date, straightened out, and have nothing older than two years on here. All right. It should be, it should be every year, people should be start turning these things in after their annual meetings. Which tells me that a lot of these places are not having annual meetings. It's, it's very much harder today. It used to be easier. 
when you had to file with FCHR. Yep. When that requirement went away, people just got lazy. And, and I'm, I'm also trying to have everything uniform. Okay, I'm being, a, being an ex-military man, all right, uh, to me, everything's got to be uniform, all right. So, That's not my fault. So, hey, sorry. <laughs> That's not the so, real world. So I get, I, I have, I, the, the forms were, were revamped, and I have a little box where it's one to five, and the, the, it's five steps to have this thing completely done. And, you know, the, we're trying to get everything done. Uh, I, I was gonna. I, I did try to teach the uh, the other secretary, but she refused to do it. So now I'm doing it, and we, we, well, anyway, I don't want to get off of that right now. But I well, the that. difficulty you have is that you don't have the right software. Think of any organization, AAA. You automatically get a letter. Your dues are expiring. Oh yes. Automatic. This is the same thing. Well, we, but we don't have that kind of software. Wait, no, we don't have people that, that can make the software. So you want to pay for that? We can have it. No. Uh, um, we can have it. You can have any. But he's doing a good job in this way. I think there are extensions in QuickBooks that will allow it. It will, but you have to do the same thing. Right. You have to put it in. Right. Have okay. input. Now we can have two people on at the same time. Yes. And even in the same program. And some of the people that are working now are not working on the hours we're here. They're doing it at home when they could fill in. Right. It makes no difference because it's getting done. But I think if you want to do that, you have to assign a thing to a person. You can't have the same four people doing the same job. So I think you have a great idea and, and so do you. Everything has to be planned, but you got to start somewhere. There's also a, a, a problem where you have a lot of associations where the president is also the treasurer and that just that's that not good. good. I, I know, understand what you're I, saying. I know, I know, we can't interfere in their I know we can't, we're we not supposed to, all right, but I mean, we should have been right. advising them not to do no. that. No, uh, years <laughs> ago, I put this to rot, and I start seeing president, treasurer, secretary, one person, the same person. He says it's very bad practice. It is. It's just bad practice. Do we have the power to say no? No, we don't. No, we don't. But we can play bully pulpit. Okay. But there is a piece of paper from Rod that definitely labels that as bad practice. Uh, and it's interesting. If you remember the Leslie Darrigan case of embezzlement, this was one of those situations. She handled everything to do with money. And I spent a lot of it over in uh, what's the name of that place? Are the slot know? machines? Oh, the casino. That's what we're Across missing. the street. Oh, that's what we're missing here. Yeah. All right, Bob. You got anything else? No, that's it. I, I, I'm a, I Anybody need a thing. second bite at the apple? One thing, David. Go ahead. And I mentioned it before. I was on with the auditor, and I've talked to Tony. I think you need someone, Tony Insurance, yeah, yeah. to to nudge. I sent it to you September first. You signed the documents for the refund from so September first to now. We don't have that money. We have. We haven't even had a confirmation that they received it. As you can't have have those two line items been canceled. No, no. The, the, the two the, line the, premium items. The premium is in insurance. I understand. Have, have both. No, the the tentative refund is not canceled and is not booked. Because what what number are we going to use? What are we going to have to do? Go to the. The problem is this was done under legacy. Could and they're not going to lift a finger. We would have to go to the carrier. Now we have to go to the carrier. What if we send the carrier confirmation? I, 
I agree. I don't know. Well, let me talk to Tony. Uh, yeah, I, I was sure um, legal defense and environmental bull baloney. Yeah, I remember it now. Bull baloney. What Tony? It was this huge policy. Terrorism or something like that. No, no, environmental oh, something or other. No, I know. Oh, that, that was that, yeah. With the, with the, uh, the asbestos, asbestos nodules on the ceiling. Yeah. David, what Tony told me is that it's possible that the refund went to legacy. Oh, my God. They had, they had well, the, again, you're, we're, we would have to get that information from the carrier. But she said it's possible. Oh boy, a bunch of crooks. Uh, I'm not saying they did, but don't forget they have the carrier of record. This is real money. We're talking 50, 60 grand. Huh? I would hope so. And that's why I'd like to get an indication that's a big number not to change the report. I thought it was like 300. No, you no, paid no, 250,000. Right, right. Between the two policies. If there's pro you know, you, you don't get it all back. And Tom, not in writing, said he talked to the carriers and they're not going to charge us a fee for early cancellation. Oh, 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 isn't that special? Well, that could be a lot of money. It's okay, but if uh, the uh, quid pro quo here, I'm uh, quoting is, yeah, we'll just keep the money. For canceling something that we shouldn't have had to do. Right. Well, we <laughs> can't go backwards. Yeah. Well, that's why I want to bring it up. Maybe it needs you a should bring it. That's good, and I will. And I'm going to talk to Tony. Somebody should be doing jail time over there. Yeah, let me need, talk to Tony. These are big companies. You're telling me. And, and their subject was this Philadelphia or American Coastal? I I think one of them is Philly. Yeah. Yeah. And you could tell on the uh, sheets I All sent right. you. All right. We got anything else? Nope. Going, going, going. Adjourn. Thank you all. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. This is fun. Oh, yeah. Big. You can't oh, yeah. say. Big. You can't say. Oh, oh, yeah. Big. All the pain. Oh, yeah. Big. That's I either stopped. Did oh, yeah. we get a recording this time? Good. Yes, we did. A few minutes to take the car ride with me. I got to show you what's going on at the uh, at, at the uh,